Now, they also went through what their findings were, like what was the problem, what was creating the problem for the pudendal nerve. So in 27%, there was a narrowing or a stenosis of the pudendal nerve. 27%, there was a fibrous sheath around it. In 25%, there was a venous dilation of the pudendal vein. So we always have a neurovascular bundle, practically always. So we're gonna have pudendal nerve, we're gonna have pudendal artery, pudendal vein. So if the vein, if they're traveling together, and the vein is dilated, it's engorged, then that itself is going to put pressure on the nerve and create symptoms. 24% of the folks had inflamed, fragile neurovascular bundle with bleeding. That doesn't sound good. 13% had too much fat around the nerve, and that was squishing into it. 3% had a flattened pudendal nerve. 